Good morning, everyone. It's Aisha Chidole from the Chidole Law Firm. Um, I am an immigration attorney here in Orlando, Florida. I represent clients all over the United States with their family immigration matter, regardless of what state you're in. If you'd like assistance with your immigration matter, give me a call. My number is 407-995-6567. So today in immigration, I would like to talk about the key differences in filing a petition, a green card petition, which your um, spouse or um, with your child versus you self-petitioning um, via VAWA. So, you know, I've talked a lot about via VAWA and basically VAWA is when you're essentially filing a self-petition based on abuse or extreme cruelty that you've either experienced in your marriage or in your relationship with your child or your parent. Um, and of course, a marriage-based petition is when two couples, you know, file or, you know, parent files for their child or a child files for their parent. So here are some key differences. So when you file um, with somebody petitioning for you, um, either through marriage or relationship, one of the requirements is that somebody provides an affidavit of financial support. What does that mean? It means basically that whoever is petitioning for you has to meet the income requirements in order for them to continue processing your application. And if they don't meet the income requirement, then you're going to need to get a joint sponsor to sponsor you, um, you know, to do that. When you do a VAWA self-petition, you do not need a financial affidavit. You do not have an income requirement. You do not need to meet an income requirement. And nothing about your spouse or your other family member um, is really related um, to this case. You know, the case is you by yourself and you providing evidence that you're in a legitimate marriage, but they're not reaching out to your other sp your spouse. They're not contacting them for anything. They're not contacting your parent for anything um, you know so you don't have to worry about the financial affidavit the second thing is if you're doing a traditional marriage based case or you know again a parent or child petition where somebody is sponsoring you you need to complete you the petitioner meaning you the person that needs the green card so you know the beneficiary in that case um, you need to fill what we call an I-944, which is a self-sufficiency um, application form. And what does that mean? So this is a new form that just arose um, as of February 2020. Basically, you need to pro be able to show that you're self-sufficient. You can, you know, that, you know, your ability to speak English, your age requirements, your health, um, you know, do you have any certifications? Did you have a college degree or a high school diploma? Your financial assets, are you somebody that once you come into this country, um, sorry, once you get a green card, you're not going to um, be a public charge. Um, so th this is a new rule and I've talked about it a lot. But that is one of the requirements, basically a public charge requirement if you're filing a marriage-based petition. If you are filing a valid based petition, none of this matters. You are exempt from public charge. They don't care whether you can speak English. They don't care whether you went to school or not. They don't care what your financial assets are. They don't care if you have health insurance um, or not. So those are two um, critical, oh wait, and let me give you one more. Let me give you one more good one. Okay, and then the other um, critical difference is that if you're filing a marriage-based case, and let's say you cross the border, you will not, I repeat, you will not be able to adjust your status here in the United States. You will need to go back to your home country to get your green card. So you file the first part of your application here, you get a waiver of forgiveness, then go back and get your green card. If you file a valid petition and you cross the border or, you know, came in here wonky or something, or, you know, came in here with somebody else's identity or whatever it is, you will be able to stay here and process your case here and ask for forgiveness here. So those are the three critical differences between filing a petition based on someone sponsoring you, um, based on regular marriage or parents or child, or filing a self-petition, you petitioning by your own self 
because you're either married to a U.S. citizen or a green card holder, or you're the child of a U.S. citizen or green card holder, or you're the parent of a U.S. citizen. So I hope this video has been helpful as always. Um, this video is for informational purposes. If you're in this situation, your friends are in this situation, share it with them. You know, I'll be happy to help them if they need assistance. My number here is 407-995-6567. All right, have a great day. Bye.